Not long ago, I created an easy Ebony-like 2D game in Yaha, and I'll show you guys the whole procedure. First, open Yaha Studios and click on Create. Then, select Template, where we'll find a bunch of awesome free templates with different scenes to choose from. For instance, we could go with a modern, tech-inspired city or a Minecraft-style map to make things interesting. For now, let's go with medieval-themed scenery. We can easily delete unwanted objects within the scene by simply selecting them and using the transform component to adjust their size, position, and rotation. In the asset box, we can see the assets you've already added. Simply drag them out to use. Additionally, we can also search for new assets in the asset library to adjust the game perspective. Go to settings and select camera. Add a feature to customize the game's viewpoint. In our case, let's choose a side-scroll 2D camera, since I want to create a 2D simulated game. Adjust the camera's depth based on the preview to achieve the desired effect. Next, let's tweak the player's attributes. In Settings, select Avatar Ability to adjust the player's walking speed, health points, attack power, and more. We can customize the game mode by changing it to None. This allows for creating a custom game mode that suits needs. Select General and set up Respawn to define the starting point and specify details like respawn time. We can preview our creation by clicking on the Play button in the top right corner. Now, it's time to build the levels by adjusting the positions of different assets within the scene. Feel free to get creative and experiment with various elements to design captivating challenges for your players. A few moments later, Tata, the scene is all set up. Now, I want this wooden plank to be interactive when clicked. So, I need to add a feature to it. I wrote code and customized a feature to make the plank drop down. I can also use the pre-built feature that come with Yaha Studios, like that making objects move. For example, if I want this gear to rotate on its own, I need to select it. Click on the feature. Add a rotate feature to make it move by adjusting some parameters. Likewise, then adding features to all the components that needed to move. Now, I want to add floating coins. Just like in Mario Adventure. So I added move and rotate features to them. To make things more interesting, let's add some attack type NPCs. Now we can go to the asset library and select characters. We can find a variety to choose from, ranging from zombies to regular people. There are even characters in Genshin Impact. Let's choose Ganyu. We can adjust her position and add an NPC feature to her. We can also write a code and put it on. Add a trigger to her so that she can sense the player and set the perception range through the trigger. Once set, the player will be attacked when they enter the NPC's perception range. Similarly, add NPCs in different places. The game is almost complete. If click on Play to preview and playtest, and everything seems bug-free, we can go back to the project's page and click on the Publish. We can set the maximum number of players online on the project's page too. I set it to 1 and then upload some screenshots of the game, and now it's ready to be released in the community. Alright, now let's give it a try and play.